Hello, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes, and in this tutorial video I'm going to explain you how to use an input terrain in combination with the tiling uh, capabilities of World Creator. So the tiling capabilities um, are used to, to, to create multiple tiles, so you can create, uh, create really vast and huge landscapes. And uh, the important thing about this could be that you have an uh, input terrain and you want to scale it up to a much, much higher resolution uh, or, or uh, just to split into separate tiles for streaming reasons. So as you can see, um, I'm just using the, uh, the map that we have created inside the input terrain tutorial. So, we're, so the idea is here to um, create a few more tiles. So we'll say uh, two tiles in the X and two tiles in Z direction and to span this input terrain all over these tiles. So that's being done quite easy. Um, all you gotta do is uh, first to select this terrain here and make it tileable. So let me quickly reduce a little bit the resolution and also remove the erosion here. So we have this one. So what you can see here is exactly the same that you would see in the uh, in the tiling feature. World Creator here assumes that there are virtually multiple tiles around this tile. So actually, um, World Creator is trying to blend that tile with the surrounding. So that's why these borders here um, appear. It doesn't matter if you have border blending down here or anything else, uh, you can't get rid of these borders right now. But I'm going to show you how to, how to remove this entirely. So the first thing we would like to do is to um, create the other th three tiles around this one here and then to apply the input terrain across all tiles so we have a much larger version of this. So this is quite easy to do. Just hit new. A new uh, world creator terrain is created. Mark it also as tileable. And as shown in the uh, tiling uh, tutorial of world creator, you have to adjust the uh, tile positions. So for example, I'm going to create a tile to the, to the right of this tile, of the original tile. I'm going to tell here an index of 1. And I'm going to hit generate. So now, what creator is placing this tile accordingly to its size and so on uh, beside this one. But you can see here we have something that doesn't look pretty nice. So that's because um, all the tiles need to have exactly the same setting. The same setting with respect to the input terrain and with uh, also f uh, the, with uh, respect to the to the basic uh, filter settings, and exactly the same to the seed setting. That's very important, else uh, you will have these borders. So now what we got to do here? The difference is that this tile has an input terrain set up, and this tile actually doesn't. So because we want to apply or or, or span this input terrain uh, um, and across all these tiles, all we got to do is just to Scroll a little bit up and copy input terrain from that one here. Now hit generate for this one. You can see that we have filled these borders. Now we have a perfect border blending over to that tile. But still, there's no input terrain right here. I mean, that's because the input terrain is set up like this. It starts at tile uh, index 0 and ends with uh, tile index 1. So it starts right here and ends here. Same for the Z value. It starts right here and ends over here. So to span this one here across this one also, we have to set it up like for each tile again, like starting at 0 and it spans over to, to the other tile. So it's a second one over to index 2. We don't have tiles right here, so we keep this as is right here. So we hit generate. Now you can see it already, there's something happening here. So, but we also have to adjust this for this one. So let's just copy it and hit generate. Now you can see that it has been spanned. It looks pretty nice right now. And let's do the other things like creating the other two tiles in the top with the exactly same approach. So I'm creating a new terrain, selecting GPU generation, go to tileable, set this one to uh, one here, and hit generate. We have a tile up and copy the input terrain settings from that one here. Going to create another terrain, mark it as GPU, tileable, and this is one one, hit generate, copy the input terrain settings, now we have them. So, 
Now, again, the same approach that we did. We have to adjust this one here because now it spans across also two tiles uh, among the X and it also has to span across two tiles along the Z values. So click to hit generate. And now we just can copy these settings from that one here. Do the same for this. Here we go. Okay, so um, let me quickly adjust the pixel array again. So we have a high detailed version so you can see it exactly how it looks like. So now we have spanned it all across these tiles and that doesn't matter, you can have uh, you, uh, you can have as many tiles as you want. Not only in positive direction, but also in negative direction. So, but this, uh, yeah, I, 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 I suggest that you check out the tiling tutorial video. Now, um, one thing that you might now um, think is, oh, well, pretty nice, I can do a, a huge, uh, uh, I have a huge capabilities right now, I can do a lot of things with this feature. But uh, now, what if I want to make an island? Because I have these borders, I mean, this this could be possible. Like this could be uh, an island, but I don't want to have borders at all because there's an ocean around it. So there's a trick you can do to get rid of these borders as well. So what you got uh, is also just to adjust a little bit these values again. We are now turning World Creator, and that's a pretty nice trick to um, span it not only between these borders like zero and two and zero for Z and uh, two for Z but to start with a negative value here and expand a little bit more here and start with the negative z value here and expand over here. Then we'll get rid of these borders. So going to set it up for the first tile and I'm telling you now here like we're starting at 0 0.13 here and we're spanning over to 2.13 here and we also do this for negative 0 0.13 and the same for 2.13. Now if you generate, we can see if the borders are gone, and they are. So pretty nice. All you gotta do is again, just to copy these settings here. And we're done. Here we go. Now we have created an island, actually. We have a little bit offset here, that's not a problem. We can try smaller values, just, so just like playing around and see when these borders uh, disappear. And you can span your input terrain all over a huge tile set and it looks pretty awesome with all these nice features. Of course you can, again, just increase the, uh, the, 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 the height scale or increase uh, also the, the height here and increase the resolution for each tile and make it pretty nice and apply all those filters and the texturing and the objects. Okay. So that's, for, uh, that's it for now, I hope you enjoyed and uh, thank you for watching, bye bye.